Welcome to our channel, You Can Be Fit. In today's video, we will discuss an important topic related to seafood consumption, the seven kinds of fish you should never eat, and seven other fish that you should eat. We will explore their potential adverse effects on health, particularly in relation to blood pressure and heart health. Additionally, we will highlight alternative fish options that are beneficial for your overall well-being. So, let's dive in. Mercury contamination is a significant concern when it comes to certain fish species. Mercury, a heavy metal, enters our oceans through various industrial processes and can accumulate in fish over time. Consuming fish with high mercury levels can have detrimental effects on our health, particularly for vulnerable groups such as pregnant women, young children, and those with compromised immune systems. The first one is shark. Sharks, especially larger species, tend to accumulate higher levels of mercury in their bodies through bioaccumulation. Mercury is a toxic heavy metal that can negatively impact the nervous system, particularly in developing fetuses and young children. High levels of mercury consumption can also be harmful to adults. Sharks, being top predators in the marine food chain, can accumulate high levels of persistent organic pollutants such as polychlorinated biphenyls, PCBs, and other contaminants. These pollutants can have adverse effects on human health including potential impacts on the immune system, reproductive system, and overall well-being. Swordfish. Like shark, swordfish can accumulate high levels of mercury. Its consumption has been associated with an increased risk of mercury toxicity, which can harm the nervous system and impair brain development. King mackerel. King mackerel is another fish species known for its high mercury content. Regular consumption of king mackerel can lead to mercury buildup in the body, affecting the nervous system and posing risks to cardiovascular health. Tilefish. Tilefish, particularly those from the Gulf of Mexico, can contain high levels of mercury. Regular consumption can contribute to mercury toxicity and potential health issues, including heart and nervous system complications. Marlin. Marlin is a large predatory fish that can accumulate high levels of mercury. Its consumption should be limited or avoided to reduce the risk of mercury-related health problems. Orange Ruffy. This deep-sea fish has a long lifespan, allowing it to accumulate high levels of mercury over time. However, the primary reason for limiting Orange Ruffy consumption is not due to its mercury content but rather its impact on the environment and sustainability. Regular consumption of Orange Ruffy can contribute to mercury toxicity and potential adverse effects on cardiovascular health. Tilapia. Tilapia is relatively high in omega-6 fatty acids compared to omega-3 fatty acids. While omega-6 fatty acids are essential, an imbalance between OMEGA6 and omega-3 fatty acids in the diet can contribute to inflammation in the body. Tilapia farming practices, particularly in certain regions, may involve overcrowding and the use of antibiotics, which can raise concerns about the quality of the fish and potential antibiotic resistance. Some studies have found that farmed tilapia can have higher levels of contaminants, such as polychlorinated biphenyls, PCBs, compared to other types of fish. However, it's worth noting that the levels of contaminants can vary depending on the source and farming practices. Mercury, when ingested in excessive amounts, can have detrimental effects on blood pressure and heart health. It interferes with the body's natural mechanisms regulating blood pressure and can contribute to the development of hypertension or high blood pressure. Prolonged exposure to high mercury levels may increase the risk of heart disease, heart attacks, and stroke. Mercury's harmful effects on cardiovascular health are attributed to its ability to promote inflammation, oxidative stress, and endothelial dysfunction, which can impair blood vessel function and increase the risk of atherosclerosis. Additionally, mercury can disrupt the electrical activity of the heart and impair its normal functioning. While it's essential to avoid fish with high mercury levels, there are numerous other fish options that provide valuable nutrients and contribute to optimal health. These include Salmon. Rich in omega-3 fatty acids, salmon supports heart health, reduces inflammation, and improves blood lipid profiles. It is an excellent source of protein and contains essential vitamins and minerals. Sardines. Packed with omega-3 fatty acids, sardines offer similar cardiovascular benefits to salmon. They are also rich in calcium, vitamin D, and other essential nutrients. Rainbow trout. Another omega-3 fatty acid-rich fish, rainbow trout provides cardiovascular benefits and supports brain health. It is also a good source of protein, B vitamins, and minerals. Anchovies. 
These small fish are high in omega-3 fatty acids, protein, and calcium. They offer heart-healthy benefits and can be enjoyed in various dishes. Herring. Herring is an excellent source of omega-3 fatty acids, which support heart health, reduce inflammation, and promote brain function. It is also rich in vitamin D and other beneficial nutrients. Mackerel. Although king mackerel is best avoided due to its high mercury content, smaller mackerel species like Atlantic or Pacific mackerel are low in mercury and offer similar health benefits as other fatty fish. Cod. Cod is a lean fish that is low in mercury and rich in protein. It is also a good source of vitamins and minerals, making it a healthy choice for overall well-being. In conclusion, being mindful of the types of fish we consume is crucial for maintaining optimal health. Avoiding fish with high mercury levels, such as shark, swordfish, and king mackerel, is essential to reduce the risk of mercury toxicity and its potential adverse effects on blood pressure and heart health. Instead, opt for fish like salmon, sardines, and rainbow trout, which are rich in omega-3 fatty acids and offer numerous cardiovascular benefits. By making informed choices, we can enjoy the health benefits of fish while safeguarding our well-being. If you found this information valuable, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. You can be fit for more informative content on health, nutrition, and fitness. Stay healthy and make wise choices for your well-being.